Wow. Ladies and slushies. Can you believe? Well, slushies, ladies can be slushies too, Martin. You see how you separated that? Dang up. it. Okay, sorry. Let me restart. Slushies and slushies. Oh, wow. But maybe slushies are gender neutral. Anyways, guys, this is the Slushy Noobs 100K special. Woo! And you know we had to hit him with the classic Draw My Life because some of you aren't well read in and the who lore. Who did it? Who did it first? Um, Captain Sparkles, I think. I don't even know. No. Look at Carl in the corner. Oh, you barely Wait, caught him. What? He was in the corner. You should have said, oh, lives. Draw our, our lives, lives as friends. As friends, because it sounded a little bit. A little bit too close. Too erotic, and we're trying to avoid that. That's not. Queer baiting. Uh, we saw you guys spam us in the comments with queer baiting. We're trying to avoid that. We are. Nothing wrong with those of you who are we're at a hundred thousand subscribers we're trying to avoid getting canceled for anything that we can wow a lot of white space here i think we're just coming up with the ideas <laughs> what are we trying to draw it's because i came prepared with notes hamza didn't well i know my life i don't have to write notes about my life i so, did so bit. much in my life that's why i wrote all these notes so i'm drawing the country of yemen which is the country i was born and i was born in the city of sanaa yemen and actually my grandfather's living room is a it was a home birth what about you, Martin? What's going on on your side? Well, what is that? You can see a man playing guitar serenading oh, guitar. another woman, and that's actually my dad serenading my mom. Oh, fantastic. They actually met in the country of Germany. I'm going to draw the flag later. I think I just forgot to draw it, but they met in Germany. Okay, and you had a little long hair when you were born? Is that you? Well, actually... Oh. Oh. Is it a little graphic, what I draw? That's a lot. I, okay. I wasn't looking at your side when that happened. As you can see, I was born in yemen and then and then we came to the usa why does the usa look like a tooth <laughs> why does it look like a tooth with a cavity on it all right and why does your mom's pregnancy look like a freaking tumor and well, I, those are all questions. I was oh and then i went to oklahoma on my side so you have to keep watching you went to side. oklahoma i went I there you were chicago no i went to oklahoma for a few years my dad got a degree there okay well look i was born in canada see and look i was actually kind of a big baby oh yeah you still are a pretty big baby. and there's a german flag black white black Germ oh, thank you. You put Germany. That helps clarify it. And yeah, me and my... I had an older sister that was born in Yemen as well. And my dad got a scholarship You would for be school. someone with a sister. I, I knew it. There's I have. Kind, I've told you. There has to be some you. kind of woman in your family. I have two sisters and two brothers, as you you'll find. You radiate that energy. Sister energy. It's powerful Big energy. Big brother energy. Now, what are we writing here? Tusa? <laughs> what, what are you... What are, <laughs> Wait, it was a typo. I messed it up. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Look. Oh. <laughs> You were born somewhere Tulsa, Tulsa. <laughs> I was I was born in Edmonton, Canada, actually. So that's why that's I didn't clarify in the last slide, but I was born in Edmonton, Canada. And look, and this is us moving into some sort of welfare housing. My parents had to do chores in the building to live there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And your father had a job. What was it? Did you draw it? Um, I didn't draw it, but he did work as a dishwasher at a strip club. And maybe he got some free shows. Even he got to take a peek. No, I, it was attached to the strip club. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was a shared. Oh, thing. boo. What is this? Your mom giving birth to like more bunch kids. Of more <laughs> kids are coming out in Oklahoma. I think there's one or two. I wrote Drew two, but then I remembered it was only one. So now we're at three. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you getting surrounded by smiley <laughs> friends. <laughs> <laughs> These are Polish nuns. Uh, I know, I was in Portland. <laughs> I went to a daycare and it was all Polish nuns and it was actually really scary. I think it gave me religious trauma slightly. Okay, and my dad went to school in um, Tulsa, I believe. It was somewhere in Oklahoma and then he went to Chase Moore School in Illinois. Freaking educated. We love educated people. Oh, yeah. He always was an educated man. And and you could see that went through, passed through. Guys, me. following Hamza's dad's footsteps. Go yeah. to school. Go to school. It's yeah. so awesome. And get a beard that connects. That's also <laughs> one of his tenants. Go to Tusa. Go to Tusa. <laughs> Tulsa. I think it's Tulsa. I don't know. It was a town in Oklahoma. We're Okay, we're thinking... <laughs> This is so funny. We're doing like a commentary. <laughs> We're awesome. like plotting. I don't, you know, you guys don't understand how you, hard. You weren't ready. You didn't know what was going on in your it's life. It's so hard to do these. You know what I was doing? I was telling you what I did in my life and you're like, oh, okay, I can do that too. Yeah, I think you, you had a pet that died and then I made up a pet that died too. I feel like you're making, yeah, you're definitely making up your life. Man, is it a bathroom break? What's going on here? <laughs> here okay. we go. We're finally getting started. Drawing my mom and... My dad, again, oh, what are they going to do here? Spiky hair. Moving. I'm moving. Oh, okay. In age five. What kind and of... look, notice how my mom's pregnant. Who's in there? My little brother. Most of you didn't know that I had a little brother. Thomas. 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 We like Thomas. Kindergarten? I forgot the end. 
in the end of there. And a, then I go to K8. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I was... First, I was just writing what I was doing, and I realized I'm supposed to draw what I'm doing. So, yeah, I went to a K through eight school, kindergarten through eighth grade in Macanda, Illinois. It's where actually the solar eclipse will be happening here soon. So you guys should go visit. And you went to church, or wait, well, what am I okay, drawing? Okay, so first I moved to a townhouse, and then oh, and I then I broke my arm. You okay, that? okay, that's awesome. And then what I did is I actually went to a French Catholic school because you can see she says bonjour, which oh, basically means what's up and welcome it. to the school. And you were familiar with that. See, I broke my leg. This is a time where I broke a lot of bones. And then that's supposed to be a frog. <laughs> <laughs> that is supposed to be a Bro, frog. That's the freaking minu. <laughs> <laughs> that's supposed to be a frog, but it's a frog. My teacher gave me it when I was a very young boy, kindergarten. And we went on a road trip with it across the country and it died in the car and i just kept it dead and it just started smelling in the back of the okay, car i almost died by freaking putting my tongue on a freezing pole classic 30. canadian lore. i don't know why i did this i was a stupid kid i like i don't know I, was, I didn't know i didn't understand things i had a bird that died at age five and i thought i was gonna die when i was five years old okay. so i started freaking out i'd like hurry man i have to say my part what I, happened what happened plus there's one, another plus pregnancy one plus one yeah another child child was born who was, was that chicken that died that's my bird mini Oh, mini. Yeah. Mini. <laughs> mini. <laughs> it's these it's that mini. are long. It's the transitions in between that are long, and then the actual drawing. We didn't let it sit What's the shadow enough. now? Who is standing? Somebody. Guys, this up. is important, though. This video is is actually really important because it, it gives you a lore. A lot of people just recently subscribed to the channel. That's how we hit 100,000. New people, new eyes. You exactly. get to learn about us. So we're giving you a little bit of an inside look on how it's made. If you ever see that show. It's how we were made. How are you, how are the best YouTubers in the entire world made? So my dad is studying. You know, he's chasing. <laughs> Your dad's beard is crazy. <laughs> well, that's what it used to be like. It used, I used studying, and I was just doing car wheels. I was being crazy as a kid. I was a menace. Okay, while you were doing car wheels, I was just landing in Ottawa. You can see I'm drawing the Parliament. Oh, okay. Yeah. Looks like Disneyland. Um, and then someone divorced. What's going on? Oh it's yeah. Those ads. Dude, which <laughs> freaking girl falls in the pit? No, my friend moved away and we buried a turtle because it was alive while we buried it. And we said when we meet each other, the turtle, the shell will still be there. So proof Aww. that time passed. Okay. And then that is, oh, I always wanted to be an inventor. So <laughs> I would always invent things. I, I remember I saw the Iron Man commercial. My parents wouldn't want, let me watch it. But I love the commercial. I always wanted to be okay. like him. This is got those rocket boots on. I was playing rock band with my little brother at the time, but I would never connect his controller because he just would make me lose the game. So I had to figure out a way to make him think that he was playing. Okay. But I think he figured out. He was he was he was four. I think you can figure that out at age four. And then he would he would help me record little videos. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, at, and against his will because I was always an entertainer at heart. And that's the floor plan of the apartment that I lived oh in. Oh my god, how do you even remember? <laughs> I don't know, I, I just got inspired. I, you're gonna see more floor plans, but that's the uh, the student housing I lived in for the first, like, about 15 years of my life. Oh my god, Rusty, Rusty. This is my guinea pig that I really love. That's and an armadillo. No, dude, it's a, really? No, it's a, you know, it was a guinea pig, I swear. And then actually he ended up, I had to bury him in illegally somewhere in like a dump. Why wow, are you, you're copying my story. It's no, obvious. I had to because my dad, he actually put Rusty outside in like minus, I mean, 33 degree weather, which is really hot for people who live in America. And I think he died of heat exhaustion or he died by getting stung by a wasp. Wow. And I also like to do a lot of parkour in the tub, right? <laughs> you missed it. I was doing, uh, I was, I like to do a lot of flips. Um, splits? Did you ever do the splits? Never the splits. I was actually, it was all unsuccessful. I remember I had a checklist of like skills I wanted to do. And the first one was cartwheel. And that was the only one Would I checked off. Would you want to do the splits at one point? You should. I'd rather do like a front flip or a back flip. That's more functional, I feel like. Okay. I'm going on vacation here. I, I, I used to visit family in Croatia a lot when I was little. That's um, supposed to be Mickey Mouse on my side. I was always really stressed out and worried because my parents would tell me we were leaving the country, getting deported back to Yemen. So they would always take us on these round trip vacations, like, all right, see America before you go. And they'd take mm -hmm. me like... Yeah, kind of get it in while you still can. Yeah, it was always that vibe. It was always like a last minute thing. That's good though. Keeps you on your toes, keeps you grateful. Yeah, it keeps me grateful. That's one way to put it. Oh, and oh, here, what happened here was actually brutal. I sat on the handlebars with my cousin while we were riding a bike and then we went and crashed into... Um, some people's backyard. Oh no! While they were having soup. Wow! And I, we knocked everything over, and I bruised myself. But I actually had to put on a smile and pretend like nothing happened because my parents would have beat me up anyways if I came home and said I'd gone across. And that's a consistent theme. A lot of life, when you grow up, you fake a smile. Yeah. And then I found my first cat. It was a stray cat, but I was always feed it, named Brownie. 
Um, I used to eat a lot of bugs during this time. I was very happy. I was truly a child, just eating bugs, doing cartwheels. I'm very grateful for my childhood. It was a, it was a very like outdoor childhood. Come home when the lights are out, you know, every day. Oh, what I drew in the corner there, you guys missed it. I used to just go on road trips with my parents. I'm glad you got that in, man. Yeah, well, just like you, you got to go see the U.S. I had to as well. We can't be different. Well, we were pretty much the same person. Okay. You know what I realized when I was doing this? There's a four-year gap. Oh, yeah, there is a four-year gap, and I think we were trying to stay at the same age, but that's just impossible. Yeah. I think there was one slide where we were like... Whoa. Like the COVID time, it was like... Yeah. So that is me when I got my first attention for climbing the stalls in about third grade and looking at other people on the other side there was no one in it as far as i remember i was just climbing and then a janitor saw me and yelled at me but okay I that's used to me get in middle school i don't know what age you were here but that's me in middle school entertaining everyone in the class oh class clown yeah i was class clown i was okay and i was getting weight oh no yeah so this is whenever i you know what happened i watched i used to watch dragon ball z and goku used to eat so much and I thought, if I eat like Goku, I'll get strong. Dang it. Freaking Dragon Ball. Yeah. And then I got my first girlfriend right there. And that's literally how I got her with that paper. Do you like me? Yes or no? Oh, my gosh. And she looked at you and saw freaking... I never looked at her in the eyes in the course of our eight-month relationship. Drawing. She saw you, like, looking over at her all big and... Plump. Yeah. <laughs> Plump guys can get action too. I was a very. I think that's what they wanted at that age is someone who, because that makes you look older and cooler. Yeah, and I used to go to the science fair. I was a very science fair kid, very American experience. Where I used to study, do little experiments for my project, and then never win any medals. No, that's not a joint in my mouth, guys. I know you guys are really concerned. Was I smoking weed in middle school? No, this is actually a trumpet. No, okay. I was a band kid. Oh. And I was really bad, though. My mom hated me because I had to practice at home. She hated you. Yeah. And then I built my first computer in eighth grade, and that began my love for the computer. <laughs> That's an ancient computer, man. It's Why was it bigger than the actual? It's still in use now. My little brother uses it ever since in ninth grade. It? Overwatch. Overwatch? Yeah. It was a good... It was at a 1060 in it and a 4690K for those of you. Who... Uh, English, please. Okay. Uh, and then here we go. We're drawing more. Martin's my arm is freaking hairy. Holy freak. It only holy shows up on video. Jeez. Oh, no. What am I wearing here? Oh, man. I was a very speedo mm. water polo age started. So you were a water polo kid. I was a bench warmer. I didn't really get much time in the water. But when I did, trust me, I served. Okay, go team. Very loose underwear you had on there. It um, was bigger. I was skinny as I was very, very skinny. So I, I any size of speedo would just slip off of me. Okay. I was a very short kid. I was five foot two when I got to school. I was, and I was like that till about tenth grade. Tried out for the tennis team, didn't make it. Used to sit alone at lunch with these kids who smelled awful and played Clash Royale, but that was the experience. That's, that was probably me. I probably smelled awful. And I, yeah, I did drama class. I just erased it, but I did drama class, and they wanted me in the play, but I said no because that's for losers. I thought I was cool, you know, so I want to fit in the cool kids, and they didn't go. To oh play. no! I know. I could have been a freaking theater kid, like Jacob Elordi or something. That's a part of your life. I'll we'll never know you experience. Alternate universe, and I gamed all the time, day and night. I think I might draw one here too, but I used to smell bad. I used to buy and sell Supreme and put it on sometimes. Um, real supreme not dupes no real i was a Bi biden resell i used to make people laugh farting in class but it was all out of insecurity man i used to wear those adidas track pants those soccer pants and uh you were over here getting subscribers what's going on you had another channel today? i had what's another channel it was a, it was a ch collab channel with one of my friends in middle school and we had one subscriber so i'm sorry dude wow that's how I found out. I was so zoned in but on I'm my side. But I'm saying if this goes bad, if this video doesn't do well and doesn't get enough likes, I'm going to go back to that other channel. Comments and subscriptions. Yeah, that would be good as well. So now you're drawing um, De Delhi. Oh, oh man. Like this Ice is where Spice. it all freaking began. And no, that's not Ice Spice. That's me with a hairnet. Oh, okay. I will draw Ice Spice in a second here. Just stay tuned. How do you like your me? That's a question you'd ask many people. I got 1075 an hour. Um, so That's Ice Spice. There we go. I'm kind of trying to accurately kind of draw the... Anyways. Okay. And a core memory for me was the solar eclipse 2017. I was selling pastries outside of my dad's restaurant because the population had tripled. So I didn't even get to see the eclipse. I was too busy packing baklava, if you know 
What's going on with that? Baklava. Oh, dude. Um, I actually worked in a, a at a at a uh, what's it called? A prescriptions office? Uh, a pharmacy? Oh, I know. Yeah. No foul play or anything? No foul play, but it scared me. I didn't really like it because I could see how easily people could mess up other people's oh. drugs. And that you're kind of a high power contract now. Maybe mm -hmm. start from there. Yeah. Um, I used to buy and sell Yeezys and Supreme, and then I, I bought. I did too. I should have put that in. Well, don't copy me now. And then I used that money to buy a motorcycle. And if okay, I'm a speed run a lot of lore here. But then um, I got deported and arrested in Canada, and then I came up. Okay, here. my dog died. I had to. Sh I tried to shove that in there. More. It's not a contest. It is though. That's why we divided it up so then. People could kind of compare Damn who it. had a harder life, who had, because that's what it's in right now is comparing who had a harder upbringing, who mm. came from the trenches, who really came from the trenches. Who really did. So you decide. You're getting so deported. you got deported or my dog died, dude. It's close. Maybe in the comments we'll see who will outshine the other. But I crossed the border in Montreal. Is that right? MTL? Yep. That's How do you remember that? Uh, it's, it's a core memory for me. And then I went to Calgary. That's uh, My parents let me choose what city we go to. You can welcome to Canada, man. And I came. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And you're over here doing math like a loser. I got accepted into freaking university for math and computer science. Guys, that's right. I'm not actually an idiot. A lot of people think I'm not smart, but I did go to school. And I was dancing on TikTok, um, just doing little fun dances because I had no friends. And I graduated online, COVID, many of you experienced this, and I just spent all my time online. And a combination of school, COVID, minus freak show equaled what the hell am I doing with my life? What does that say in the left there? Can you read that? Varsity. varsity. I was a varsity athlete. Congrats. So again, coming up from the trenches, you know, we're trying to showcase. Whoa, wait, what are you drawing here? Airplane. Thumbs, thumbs up Toronto, thumbs down Calgary. I made the big move. I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it fully. Whoa, big you know? risk taker. Big, big risk. risk. And it. Well, we'll see if it paid off, guys. Stay tuned because it's going to get crazy. What happens in Toronto? Well, stays in Toronto. <laughs> let's draw it out for those of you who want to know. We take a little the breather. Suspense, yeah, because we're trying to build the suspense up here. And what am I going to draw? I'm curious. Me too. Oh, you Wait, were working like, out. No, you weren't. I was, I was, yes. This because this is my COVID time because I tried to catch up to you, give you time to catch up. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, so you were kind of bored and you were working yeah, out. Yeah, I was just doing school, playing video games, and working out. That was my COVID. When I got to Toronto, I gave a realtor fifteen thousand dollars. That's the only way anyone would let me live somewhere. It was like eight months up front and I got I a girlfriend. But it wasn't freaking Mandy, dude. I what had the another, hell? No, I had a freaking. Why would other you girlfriend. draw that? I was really sad because it was my first relationship ever. But hey, they always come and go, man. That's what women do. My brain, my knowledge. I was losing brain cells. I was losing money. And my weight was gaining. I learned a lot about myself during this time in isolation, all by myself. You could see me in that little box, curled just up in a corner, like freaking. Pretty much, and then you. So excited about 50k, bragging on the other side of the world. I was telling everyone I was famous. And Actually, I went to my local bar at one point and someone recognized me from one TikTok that I had and I got, it got to my head. I know. You seem like the guy that would uh, happen. So. And then look, who also recognized me uh, digitally? You. You did. Oh, and then... This is you. We t we texted each other. You Well, you DM me. And I had started out a character around this time. I had a few episodes. I remember that. <clears throat> I was interviewing... Polo Boy announced his child on your podcast. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I interviewed like EXO Brooklyn, some controversial people, lots of controversial people. But that's what it was, is you wanted to see if they're really who they were. Yeah, I was just curious, just using my platform for good. And then I moved out to into downtown Ottawa, big city, big city moves with, wow. with two uh, friends. That's exciting. And I moved in with a roommate named Aaron Hall, and that's the floor plans of our crib. It was way up in a skyscraper, very new to me, but I didn't really love it. And here we go. I met Mandy, actually, while I was living in downtown Ottawa. And I said I love you pretty goddamn fast. If wow. If I say so myself. It's a red flag. <clears throat> no, it just means I knew what I wanted. And while you were busy, what was it? SPC? What does that even stand I for? I started a company management. I tried. I, I tried to learn coding. It sucked. It was so hard. Um, I had a roommate. He dipped. And I bought a car. So I was a busy bee. And I convinced you to move to freaking Toronto, as you can see on your side. Is that the needle, space needle from Seattle? You drew it, so tell us what it it's is. It's the freaking CN Tower. I had to come see my boy, and so I was hanging out with So you visit often. Oh, yeah. you didn't move yet here. You're no, no, no. Actually, no, wait. No. Is this one? No. Oh, no, didn't. no, this one, this one. Here Spoilers. we go. This is the big... oh, Spoilers. Holy cow. Spoilers. Spoiling our life. 
no you Damn convinced it. me to come out there and check out the big city and and you know and i was like wow i really like this place what if i just moved i had this idea. oh the line disappeared oh my god that's the formation of the slushy noobs that's what it must mean we would record stuff you know long distance here and there we were in a long distance relationship yeah but it wouldn't suffice we said we need to be up close and personal and someone proposed what's going on well someone i said, said yes slushy noobs and you said yes Oh, so you're taking credit for the creation of it. Well, I did say, hey, do you, do you want to do a channel together? And but, I, said, yeah. but I was really enthusiastic. Don't say it like yes, that. Yes, you were like, yes, we need to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then I had a little typo there. Got a new apartment all by myself. I think I'm going to draw the floor plan here. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with those. Oh, downtown. It's very downtown. Oh my gosh. You're moving oh, out. See. Yeah, I packed up Mandy and the pets. I just Fish and Rudy at the time. And then I brought them over to Toronto. Obviously, you helped me move in. We started a joint podcast together. I mean, it was already there, but I just joined in because I obviously have to get my hands in everything. Yeah, so now we got slushy noobs out of character. And that's where the story, well, doesn't end. But that's where we are. <laughs> Thank you for the journey. Whoa. Thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers. Woo! Thank you, everyone. We could not have done it without you. The screen is dark. God bless America. Martin, do you have anything else to say? Well, see you in the next one, because the journey continues. <laughs>